So this is a lot for people to yeah. think about. I'm thinking about job interviews. Sure. So you go to a job interview and you want to come across as confident. What are the things you should think of with your head tilt, your facial expression, your body language, or any of the nonverbal parts of the visual communication? It's a great question. So uh, I think the first thing that's the most important is making sure you're not trying to communicate competence and knowledge and expertise if it's something that you don't feel you necessarily have competence and knowledge and expertise in. So what I mean specifically there is if you're asked a specific question, um, and it's something you don't know the answer to. If you stand up and you make yourself appear really confident and competent, you might come across as arrogant if your verbal behaviors are not matching your nonverbal behaviors. Mm. Um, but that said, if it is something that you do feel confident in and you do have knowledge and expertise, signaling your prestige to others can be very, very helpful. Um, and to do this, there are probably three behaviors that I would recommend. So the first would be smiling, which communicates warmth, affiliation, approach. Um, an upwards head tilt also helps. You see this a lot in pride expressions. And finally, expansiveness, but you're gonna specifically wanna sit up straight with your chest out. And why is the upward head tilt pride and not arrogance? Yeah, so um, interestingly, it's, uh, the same prototypical expression is used to communicate something called authentic pride, which is this achievement-oriented, successful sort of version of pride, uh, and hubristic pride, which is this more arrogant and conceited form of pride. Um, from the expression alone, it's very hard to disentangle them. That's why it's extremely important that you have the knowledge base um, when you're talking. So this is a situation where if you communicate pride, so with an upwards head tilt and a smile, um, but you don't really know what you're talking about, you're gonna come across as arrogant, but that same expression, if you do know what you're talking about, you'll come across as prideful. So that verbal does come into it. You need the verbal to match up with the visual and the vocal. Absolutely. I think one of the most important things is to make sure that your verbal behaviors are matching your nonverbal behaviors.